Proverbs. We're in chapter 4. We left off reading 13. So we'll pick up back in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 13. Take fast. We said that is grip, iron, stay, unmovable, hold of instruction. Don't let it go. Don't retreat. Let her not go. Keep her. For she is thy life. Good instruction will keep you good life. When a doctor tells you something to do to, to, to help you to be healthy, better hold on to it. When the Bible says we're not to do things or the wrath of God or the chastisement of God, we better not do it. Enter not into the path of the wicked. So there are wicked paths. And we saw this back in Proverbs chapter 1. And if there's one thing, the main, the whole entire Bible is about Jesus Christ. From Genesis to Revelation. It, I know it has the Jewish people. I know it has the Gentiles. I know it has the church. But there's not much church <laughs> compared to how much Israel. But it's all about Jesus Christ. Now the conduct of men that you find in the Bible, it's what we're to do and what we're not to do. And the problem with man is they want to do what the Bible says not to do. And they don't want to do what the Bible says to do. It goes against our flesh. And the Bible, one of the main points under Jesus Christ for man, there is a wicked group of people. And we're to have no fellowship with them. We're to go out there and, and tell the world about Jesus. But we're not to be in union with them. Especially in marriage. I mean, all are welcome into our church. Excluding the wicked. But we're going to witness to them. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says go into the world and preach the gospel. Nowhere does it say bring the wicked in, bring the unsaved in. You're asking the wicked to bring their path into your assembly. And listen, things don't get better. The church age is not getting better. But too many do think it's getting better, wonderful and great. And you got to wake up. And go not the way in the way of evil men. So, there's a path of the wicked and there's a way of the evil man. Matthew 7, 13. And we're to avoid it. You know, we're to come out. Once we got saved, <coughs> we're to come out of that mess. Pilgrim's Progress had, on the route to the celestial city, the New Jerusalem, it had many paths, and some of them, when Pilgrim took it, it had not good consequences. Matthew 7, 13, Enter ye the straight gate, for wide is the gate, broad is the way, broad way. Look at the major cities and see what's on broad way. I don't think there's many churches. And if there is a church located on Broadway, it don't need to be located there or it's a carnal, worldly, religious. For broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Scripture with scripture. Didn't we just read the evil man in his way? And many there be which go thereat. Because straight is the gate, narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. That's destruction. Few there be that find it. Life doesn't have a fork in a road. Unless you want to look at a fork in a road that has many uh, tines. That's what the little things at the end of the fork are called. And that's what life has. It has many. There's one way. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. There's a path of the wicked. There's a way of evil. 
There's a way of religion. There's a way of science. There's a way of alcohol. There's a way of this. There's a way that. And there's a way that the devil has many ways. And we'll see that throughout the book of Proverbs. There are many ways of the devil, but there's one way of God. And if there's one thing that Solomon sets forth and the Holy Spirit sets forth, as Solomon warns his son, and as God warns his children, we are not to partake of the wicked in evil way. I'm telling you right now, the churches are. To their destruction. Look at verse 14. Enter not in the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of the evil man. Avoid it. That's the first time avoid shows up in the Bible. Avoid. I mean, it's not like you're not going to see that path. You know, as a Christian, you're going through life. Oh, I'll never see any evil paths. I'll ne never. No, no. They're going to be there. And the devil's going to entice you. And the Bible says, avoid it. Don't turn. Don't go. Don't go. Don't even explore. Avoid it. Just because you're saved doesn't mean those paths are going to come up. And many a Christian has fallen because he's gone now. He did not avoid. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Notice how it's singular. And yet 14, there was a path and there was a way. Those paths, those way of the wicked and the evil are just one path that leads to destruction. We read that in Matthew. All roads except for the path of Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life lead to hell. He used to say all, ro all, all roads lead to Rome. Yeah, the religion. And into hell. Turn from it and pass away. Don't even look. And yet the devil will paint those paths as good. And those paths may even be paved. With the finest black top. May have the, the most prettiest yellow lines. But it's deception. You know the Bible says about the Christian. You know when you're going to look at that Christian path. It's rocky, it's bumpy, it's dark and all that. Marvel not the world hates you. No, they, no have I become your enemy because I told you the truth. Those that live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. That path, that straight path. I mean, you, you just spit through the doorway through Jesus by Jesus alone. That path don't look like it's going to be comfortable. That path goes up. It goes down. It goes into valleys. Broadway is lit up. Broadway in New York City is lit up with neon sign. That's the wrong light. I don't know what a Broadway in cities in California, but I guarantee they lit up with artificial light. And beware of the devil who, is, who appears as an angel of light. Solomon set forth tonight is they sleep for they sleep not, except they done mischief. They don't go to bed at the end of the night to go to bed unless. That day, they've done something wrong to somebody else. They have harmed somebody. They had deceived somebody. They had swindled somebody. They had put somebody to pain, misery, sorrow, upset. That is their duty. That's what Satan does. And if you're going to be a born-again, Bible-believing Christian, serve the Lord and do right to the best of your ability, that's what Satan is going to throw your way. And he'll throw his wicked and his evil men into your path to try to destroy you. And he'll throw it into his own people's path. But with his people, he puts a little twist. and Somehow they think it's good. How a guy can think that his alcohol has ruined his entire life. i got to have another one. People have been deceived. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. They enjoy hurting others. Romans 1 32 or 7. Can't tell me. There are, I mean, you understand, some people say, well, where's all wickedness? It can't be 137. 
so that's the 132. Some people say, how can somebody, how can somebody be so beastly? How can they be so, that's in our nature. We all got that. We all got that vile, wicked heart. Who knowing the judgment of God, that they have committed such things, read the whole chapter, just wicked it, are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in doing them. And this is a this is a vast list, and I'll leave it to you to read it yourself. It's not a good list. There are people right now. Right now, it is uh, it's coming at seven ten p.m. in Daytona Beach on the eastern seaboard of America. They're coming home from work, and they're going to spend. Some of them are going to spend the next few hours. They're going to drink, party, carouse, and all that kind of stuff. And before they go to bed tonight, they're going to think, well, i got a client in my office tomorrow. And they're going to think, I want to destroy him. I want his money. I want his job. I want his career. I want his wife. I want what he got. I want him to hurt. I mean, that's after all, that's the golden rule. Do unto others as others done unto you. And in life, you can't live your life in a bubble to realize... There's wicked people and evil people out there. And then they turn around, well, where, where did it, it come from the Bible? It comes from your heart, tells us why. They have the knowledge of God, but they don't care about God, and they enjoy it. And they have pleasure in it. Look at, look at Pro, uh, Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter, my page is here. Hebrews chapter 11, verse number, now watch this. This is the Holy Bible. <clears throat> Hebrews eleven twenty five, 25. Choosing rather to suffer affliction, Moses, with the people of God, Israel, than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Look at that in your Holy Bible. Look at that. Holy Bible written inspired by God and I have not found one atheist I have not found one agnostic I have not found one person against the King James Bible to quote me that verse now I had drunkards say well didn't Jesus turn the water into wine didn't Paul tell Timothy to drink a little wine for the and they forget the stomach infirmity well don't you know that money is the root of, no the root the love of money is the root of all but they don't quote that one Yeah, going on rides at, at, at the Rat World and 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 the and the, and the, the, the flags and all that play. Yeah, that's fun. But what's that going to get you in eternity? And to the wicked and evil people, their violence is fun. And it sounds sickening, but it is. And you're not going to correct them with psychiatry, and you're not going to correct them with pills, you're not going to correct them with a correctional institute, you're going to correct them by the blood of Jesus Christ, <coughs> by the new heart, by, the, by Bible reading, by repenting, by prayer, and getting right in the Bible, but many won't. And it's sad. It says, in the fall, they want, there are people out there that want you specifically to fall. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop aiming at politicians and all that. I'm, but, you realize, I don't, I, I don't care what you are, Democrat, Republican, I don't care. I don't care. But do you realize there are people running for politics today, whatever, and their main goal is to have the people fall? Don't go say that's them or there's, no, don't, I'm just saying. And there are going to be people who are going to vote for them and have been deceived. 
And then there are going to be people who, who lie perfectly and you think it's for good intentions, but then it turns out to be a fall. And this could happen to you at the workplace. You can one day say, hey, uh, come on in, Fred. Yeah. I want you to tell you right now, that starting tomorrow, we're having a guy come in. He's going to be the new manager of our group. And that guy could be evil and wicked in his intention to have everybody fall. I had a boss like that one time. She was the best and everything was there to be the best and everybody was put down. I thank God our store manager saw through that. But there are people out there and you're going to have to bear with it because the Bible says there are going to be people out there. You're going to work with them. You're going to know them, whatever it is. And their main intention is for you and others around them to fall. What's the Bible say? Don't go in their path and don't go the way of them. Avoid them. Do what you have to do in the workplace and that's it. And do it to the best of your ability. For God see it. For they eat the bread of wickedness. Now can you just imagine what that bread looks like? Can you picture God picturing the wickedness and there's a loaf of bread? Stale, moldy, surrounded by a bunch of rats. I don't know, bread stinks. But it would not be something like you know, you go into a bakery and say, "Oh yeah, give me that, give me that bread of wickedness over there. Yeah, that, that, that looks great." And yet, you know what? The devil makes that bread look. Oh, it's perfectly fine. I mean, after all, now wait a minute, after all, didn't Jesus say he's the bread of life? Bread is bad for a diabetic. I got to learn that. I love bread. I had a friend introduce me to Jewish bread. Oh, that's a diabetic nightmare. But there's something worse for bread for a diabetes is the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. What's going on in America, in the streets of America today, be, uh, for, you know, whatever they want to defund the police and the riots and all that, that's Proverbs chapter 4. Aren't you nervous? Aren't you scared? No, God will take care of me. Going to grab a gun? I ain't grabbing no gun. And I already know they're going to be there. I already know there are people like that. On the street. All right, that guy came and cussed you out. And went, Aren't you afraid? Yeah, I'm afraid. But the Bible says there's already going to be people like that. Jesus said nobody much is going to love the message. Grin and bear it. Don't get, don't get involved with that wine of violence. That wine of violence causes death, harm, shame. It's misery. And you're too intoxicated with the moment of feeling that wine. Wait till it wears off. I can imagine the, the most... And I've heard some cases like this. You get someone who's a serial killer or has killed many people. And when he's put into a jail cell by himself, the devils come out at night while he's sleeping or trying to sleep. When he can't get the alcohol, he can't get the illegal drug, they won't allow him Medicaid. And he's there in alone in the dark with his devil. He drank the wine of violence. That's a Galatians 6, 7. Be not deceived. God's not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that he shall also reap. Imagine a man who keeps rejecting Jesus, keeps rejecting Jesus, and has fun and pleasures and all kinds of things like that, and ends up in a lake of fire that burns forever. But, oh, we got a good but. The path of the just. See the path? Look at verse 14 again. Enter not the path of the wicked, but the path of the just. Now let me let me ask you a question. What would the devil do with his path compared to God's path? 
wouldn't he paint his path a little more brighter, a little more sunnier, a little bit more fluffier? The path of the just is as the shining light. Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. That shineth more and more unto that perfect day. The more and more we get closer to New and Jerusalem, the more and more that light as we get closer and closer to Jesus. And the neon signs and the and advertisement signs and the television tube lights and the tel telephone lights, that, that fades off. But we got to be careful too because 2 Corinthians 11 says that says Satan is, is as the angel of light. And people say, oh, I died, I've seen the light. You better be careful. I had an out-of-death experience. With all the drugs they pumped into you to try to keep you alive, yeah, you had an hour, but not the true holy one. The way of the wicked. Well, look at verse 14. Enter not the path of the wicked. And go not the way of the evil man. Now the way has become the wicked way. Contradiction. No, same thing. Remember I said there's one way. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. That way leads the straight gate into heaven. Remember I said the devil has, I don't know how many ways he has. But they all lead to the same way. Hell. Whether that way be evil, that way be wicked, it's the same way. Whether you got a, a serial killer is out there killing, or you got a you got a guy who, who's got a family, a wife, and children, and a job, and living right, just won't trust Jesus Christ as his savior. It's the same path. It's the path of destruction. Imagine a let, let's say for let, let's say for let's imagine a decent fellow. Goes to work, take, never cheated on his wife, doesn't cheat on his taxes, does the best for his children. Goes off to all these, you know, these events and stuff like that. Has good family time, and he ends up eternally in a place of murderers, rioters, and and uh, whoremongers, and adulterers, and addicts. And how did he do that? Because the devil's way is all one way. As Jesus is one way, he just decided not to go the way to the straight gate. And there are different degrees of hell, yes. That man I just said, who's a nice guy and all that, he's not going to get a greater damnation than the murderer or a religious body. I mean religious body, whether it be a priest, pastor, I mean... I believe a pastor that comes up with, you know, to say this prayer, easy believism, man, they're going to get a greater damnation than the person that believed them. Man, the popes are going to get a greater damnation, Jesus said. It'd be better, I think he said, tie a millstone than that's for the children still. All the children that the Catholic Church has thrown into hell. Because the devil has many ways, God has one way, and whether you're clean living and all that, or you're the most vile, wicked person, if it's not Jesus Christ, not everybody gets to go to heaven. That's another thing the devil will have you be for. Oh, I go my own way, you know. We'll end up in the same place. No, you won't. The way of the wicked is as darkness. Opposite of the path of just. Hell is dark. The way of darkness. John chapter 3. Man will get what he wants. Whether he wants it or not. John chapter 3. Verse 19. I wish we could read the whole thing. 
John 3, 19, this is the condemnation. That light is come into the world. There's just. Jesus was just. And men love darkness, uh-oh, rather than light because their deeds were evil. Doesn't that match Proverbs? Scripture with Scripture. Everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. He that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest. Now go to 2 Corinthians 11. Scripture with Scripture. 2 Corinthians 11, verse 14. And no marvel from Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. The Antichrist of light. There's the light of Christ and there's the Antichrist of light. The way of the wicked is darkness. They want darkness. And if you don't think they want darkness, you go out there and preach to them the gospel. You go out there and tell them about Jesus or light, and you see how happy they would love you. And I'm using a little sarcasm, just, just so you know. They know not at what they stumble. You know, a wicked man, whether he be clean wicked man or a vast, vile wicked man, one day, you know what he does? Look at Luke chapter oh, 15, I think it is. I'll show, you, I'll show you the dark way of the Luke 15. I'm showing you scripture with scripture. Uh, it's not 15, I think it's 16. One of them chapters. Luke 16, verse 22. It came to pass that the beggar died. And was carried by the angels in Abraham's bosom. The rich man died and was buried. Okay, which state are these men? What state they are? Well, the, the, the beggar was carried off into Abraham's bosom by the angels. Don't we assume he went the right way, the way of just? What about the, the rich man? The rich man died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes being in torment. Well, who went where and who went where and who did what and who didn't do what? So going back to over here, back to Proverbs, he knoweth not what they stumble. The rich man, he's living on life and he's getting richer and richer and, and he doesn't do what God tells him to do and he's rejecting God and is rejecting the law where we were in Luke. That's rejecting the law. He dies, he's in hell. He probably know he he probably didn't know that he was gonna die. How many people in hell today? Going all the way back to the first man that went in hell. How many of those people in hell had a to-do list? Well, today I'm gonna do this, today I'm gonna do that. Oh, 10 o'clock, I got an appointment, and then next thing you know, they're in hell. What happened? I thought I had more time. What about the one that tells you, I'll get saved later? And boom. Hey, you know, that's not a stumble in life. That's, I'm in darkness. I'm in hell. What happened? I'm young. My life. I had a corporation. I, I, wanted, to get, I wanted to get that guy. I wanted to put that guy down. I had a chance for violence. These riots are happening. People are getting shot. People are, are being killed at these riots. And then they're waking up in hell. In darkness. Wait a minute. I saw fires and all the fires we said. I've seen street lights and, and, and police lights and all that. And then boom, they're, they're in a darkness of the devil's hell of no light no more. What happened? When's his pain going to go away? I 
That's why the Bible says go in the world and preach the gospel. That's why witnessing and all that is very serious. And yet the lie of the scene in church age is taking it as a joke, as playtime, as romper room. My son. Oh, my son. Again, Solomon writing to his son, God speaking to us. Attain to my word. Attend to my word. Uh, you attend something. You attend it. You arrive. You show up. A waiter attends. A waitress attends your table. They're going to get you what you want and whatever you need. They, that's what I'm saying. Get here. Get right now. Be be here. Listen to me and do what I tell you to do. That's what he's telling you. Incline thy ear unto my sayings. You better listen to what I'm telling you. And Rehoboam didn't. He didn't. Neither did Solomon listen to God. Let them, the words of Solomon, the words of God, the Bible, not depart from thy eyes. So how many Christians out there don't read their Bible? Well, if it's God speaking to his son, we are the children of God, and he tells us, let it not depart from my eyes, and you, you haven't opened the Bible to read the Bible yourself, you're in trouble. Well, then, just that one place, study to show thyself and prove to God. No, 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 no. Here it is. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. What Psalms say? Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Scripture with Scripture. Look how it all fits. Look how it fit. I don't memorize scripture. Well, you should. Start. For they are light. Alright? Doesn't John chapter 1 says Jesus is the word? Did not Jesus say, I am the way, the truth, and the... Uh, all focus is around Jesus Christ. Show me Jesus in the, in the Old Testament. I just did. There he is. For they are light. John chapter 1. John chapter 14. There he is. There are life unto those that find them. Everybody's going to go to heaven. None of you don't come to Jesus, you don't. That implies Solomon is blind. You got to find it. You got to find Jesus. You got to find the words. And I'm going to go so far as stick my neck out to say only the King James Bible. All other Bibles are not the word. But of Satan. Remember I said Satan has all the paths. God has one path. God has one path. The KJV. 1611. Satan has other paths. NIV. The, the Doody Booby Bible. And the, and the Scoopy Loopy Bible. And the Hoopy Doopy Bible. And I can't say the other name because they're all copyrighted. There's only one Bible is not copyrighted that I can say King James Bible, King James Bible, King James Bible. If I mention the other Bibles, I may be able to sue, be sued by those companies. Though Paul says in the Corinthian church, you ought not take your brother to court. Uh -oh. If Paul says, you know, you ought not take a brother to court, what are they doing putting a copyright in something that's, oh, it's not God's word. They don't obey the word of God. Because I guarantee with those copyrights, they have taken Christians to court. They would not get the copyright if they didn't intend to use the copyright. All my work that you can download is not copyright. Do what you want between you and God. For they are life unto them that find them, and health to all their flesh. Well, that's interesting. The word of God is health. There are things you eat. There are things you don't eat. There are things to do and things not to do. Exodus 15, 26. Exodus 15, 26. In the law. Because we're in the law. Solomon's in the law. Ain't church age. I'm spiritually applied, applying what I spiritually applied to the church. But under the law... Exodus 15, 26. 
and said, God said, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, will give ear to his commandments, to keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought up upon the Egyptian. I am the Lord thy God. I am the I am the Lord that healeth thee. He's talking to Israelites. He's talking to Jews. He's talking to Hebrews. He's not talking to the church age. But the word of God for the Christian can make you healthy. All right, let me let me throw a a, a piece of steel in the machinery, shall we say? We're going to get a nice, fine, old-fashioned clock. And we're going to throw some steel into it, in the gears. Do you think Paul lived to the Word? Do you think Paul did what the Old Testament was supposed to do? Do you think Paul was true to what God showed him in the mysteries and the epistles that he wrote to the church? Do you think Paul was true to that? Now, how come Paul said, I have an infirmity. I sought the Lord three times, and the Lord says, my grace is sufficient. Paul was in the Word, and... Uh, I can't imagine what kind of if, if if God would have Paul show up, or when Paul showed up in his time to churches and his, I can't imagine what Paul looked like. But I don't think he was standing tall and all. I don't think he could stand tall. I guarantee he probably had lifelong bruises, lifelong scars. I mean, he was stoned. He was shipwrecked. And he was in the Word, and he and the most of the New Testament to the church is written by him. So when you go to the Bible and say, Well, if you, you have a daily of the Bible, and we have Ezekiel cereal, you're going to be healthy well. That's Old Testament. You have not rightly divided, and you put shame. Because there are Christian people out there who read their Bible, who study their Bible, and they're sick. Remember, Proverbs is under the law. But there are Christian principles. Keep thy heart with all diligence. Know what is right and what is wrong. Why your heart? Well, Jesus said out of the heart comes adultery, fornication, murder, lies, covetousness, and the list goes on. Your heart is going to want to do evil, and you know what? Your heart's going to say, let's go do this. Uh, okay, wait a minute. What's the Bible say? Your heart may even deceive you. Let's go pass it. Let's let's go out pass out track. And I'll take my example. Yeah, that's God says go out get the God. Yeah, amen. What we're gonna do it? We're gonna smoke a cigarette. I've done it. I pass out tracks with a cigarette in my mouth. I passed out gospel tracks and witness with a with a cigarette T-shirt. That's not diligent. If you're a grown Christian, a grown Christian, a grown Christian. Having a bale bush in your house and bale lights around your house is not diligent. Especially if the Roman Catholic next door has a bale bush and has lights on his house. What difference are you from them? Are you saying, yes, for a mature Christian, it's wrong. You can go look up my studies and find out. For out of it, the heart. Are the issues of life. The issues of life. Matthew 15, 19. Now see, we're going to take Psalms and Proverbs. Psalms, Psalms. And we're going to look at what the scriptures say. Now, this is Jesus. Jesus is the creator. All right? You believe Jesus is the creator? I do. 15, 19. Let's go scripture with scripture. You know, Jesus quoted Proverbs. Uh, verse 18. Matthew 15, 18. But these things which proceed out of the mouth 
cometh forth from the heart and defiled the man. For out of the heart proceedeth evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornication, thefts, false witnesses, blasphemy. That's your heart. Jeremiah says the heart is a, is a wicked above all things. Who can know it? All your sin in your life, whether what what sins you have, plural. What sins I have, plural. They didn't come from my noggin, came from my heart. God's going to give Israel one day his spirit and a new heart. A new heart that will love him and gratify him and glorify him and be only to God. Put away from thee a forward mouth, and that is a most vile, wicked mouth. I had a guy I worked with one year. Every, every other word, every third word, it, 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 the guy, a, a nice road trucker, that every, it's just filth. You can apply verse 24 to the Christian. Because Paul said we ought not to have that mouth. And I'm not just talking four-letter words. I'm just talking about jokes. Filthy jokes. Filthy stories. Perverse lips put far from thee. Your mouth as a Christian. And as a man that was under the law, your mouth ought to be clean and pure. James puts a whole chapter. See chapter 3 or 4 of James. Puts a whole chapter in there about the tongue. Let thy eyes look right on. And let thy eyelids look straight before thee. Look ahead. Don't look back. Ponder the path of thy feet. But there's the, so this is all been about a path. Look at what you're going. Look at that path. Is it the, the path of wickedness? Is it the path of evil? Or is it the just path? Have you strayed off? Where are your feet? Is Jesus still up ahead? You say, well, Jesus walks with me. Who's guiding? If Jesus is walking right with you, who's guiding? He's got to walk a little ahead of you. That Ark of the Covenant went before the children of Israel so they know where they have to go. Don't fall with these little gadgets and little cute little sayings. They're lies. Get it out of the Bible. If it's not in the Bible, just get rid of it. Somebody made so they can put it on a sign and charge you a fortune. And let all thy ways oh, be established by God. Now, when you walk in that straight path, God says that we have given talents. One was ten talents, I think. One was five talents, and one was one talent. Uh, you check it. Okay, you're going down the path. You're serving the Lord. You're doing right. But God has given us multiple talents that we are responsible for. And all your talents, make sure it is established by God. Don't take your musical t talent and go off to the world. Well, I'm still in church three times a week, but my music is going off in the world. That's happened to a lot of singers who have died and still today. They were in a, they were in the church singing in the choir, loving the Lord, and they took that path of music to the world and destroyed their life. That path of music wasn't established by God. Because if it was established by God, it'd be being still used for God, even though if you don't get a prophet. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. It's a straight path. Straight is the gate. Gee, I wonder where I heard that before. Remove thy foot from evil. Which means what? You're capable of putting your foot in it. How many times have you been somewhere and you put your, fo your foot in dog poop? You didn't know it was there. 
Well, what's the first thing you do? Step and stomp all over it? No, you get out of it and you go clean it up. How did it happen? I didn't see it. How did I get off the path? Isn't the devil clever and trick? You know? So don't think as a Christian, I'm going to go on that beaten path. I'm going to go straight and I am not going to go anywhere else. He said, closing the word, the chapter, turn not to the right hand or the left. Remove thy foot from evil. That means, guess what? You did a turning. You stepped in evil. Pew! And you didn't even know you did it. Read Fox's, I'm not, yeah, read Fox's Book of Martyrs. Yes. Pilgrim's Progress. I can't think of the castle's name now. He goes off to a castle. It looks like a good path. It looks well. We'll take a little nap. And many days he lost. Be careful where you're going. Be advised the devil knows where you're going. Be advised there are wicked and evil people out there. And as a Christian, you can stray off into their path. I know many too many Christians that have splayed off into a wicked and evil path. And Again, that is also in Pilgrim's Progress too. Man, read your King James Bible, Genesis to Revelation. Read it again. Read it. Keep reading it to you to your dead. Get yourself a copy of Pilgrim's Progress. The very first time you read that, it's worse than reading the King James Bible. Bear with it. Read it again. Read it again. Now, Pilgrim's Progress is not the Bible, but God will use it in your life. I, I think I'm going to set forth to read it again. I don't know how many times I read Pilgrim's Progress. But that's Proverbs chapter 4. The warning of the wicked and evil. The devil's slick. 